And now, the 2011 ARTBA Chairman's Annual Video Report. Hello, my name is Bill Cox. I'm 2011 ARTBA Chairman, and this video shoot gives us a great opportunity to look back at the year, to see what we've accomplished, and at the same time look forward to the uh, challenges ahead of us. So let's get started. One of the core missions of ARTBA is advocacy for sustainable transportation funding. Uh, clearly this year it has been disappointing that we have not been able to move towards a six-year transportation bill. Much of that is due to the the internal problems, the political problems that exist in Washington today with the economic state of the country uh, and the debt situation that the country is facing. However, I do think that a lot of progress has been made by ARTBA and its staff in one, educating the, the uh, Congress as to the need for transportation and in putting the message out to our uh, legislators and senators so that they understand the importance that transportation means to the country in terms of quality of life, safety, and economic uh, benefit. One of the ways that we do that is the Transportation Makes America Work campaign. Through your contributions as members of ARTBA, you allow the association to produce the kind of print and, and video media that is needed to frame the debate about the uh, transportation and the need for a sustainable funding source. The one good thing we have is we do have two bills that are out of Congress at this time, and so maybe we can move forward in this year ahead to get a six-year bill. In addition, ARPA represented your views to environmental and regulatory agencies, including submitting written comments 25 times and testifying before U.S. DOT and EPA hearings. We also produced a landmark study on the role of coal ash in transportation building. Well, one of the best things that ARTBA does is the Young Executive Development Program. This is the future of our industry and and kudos go to ARTBA for recognizing the value of, of enlisting younger executives in the process of association work. Uh, our company, Corman, has been very active in it and has had a number of our, uh, of our professionals go through the YEDP program. And this past September, in our Transovation Conference, which was primarily designed to give those young executives and young construction and design personnel an opportunity to see what their organization does for them and how they can participate in the association themselves. ARPA provided an abundance of networking opportunities, such as the National Convention, the Federal Issues Program and Transportation Construction Coalition Fly-In, and the International Bridge Conference. We enhanced your membership with numerous core services and benefits, such as www.artba.org, the Work Zone Safety Clearinghouse, the Young Executive Development Program, Professional Development Academies, Transportation Builder Magazine, and much more. ARPA also provided new programs to serve you better, including the Women Leaders in Transportation Design and Construction Council, Best of the Best Safety Academy, the Bridge Preservation Action Team, and the Digital Washington Newsline. Well, the Strategic Planning Committee is a committee that is an initiative that I'm really very proud of this past year. And what it was designed to do was to take a look at the, the funding landscape from a big perspective because it really could be that right now with the situation, financial situation the country is in and the states are in, that the, the funding mechanisms that we have come to know in the past may be changing in ways that we're not aware of yet. And as an association, we need to be uh, nimble on our feet so that we can provide the kind of resources to our members that they will need in the years ahead if these funding sources do change uh, markedly from where they have been in the past. The Strategic 
Planning Committee has done a great job in identifying trends and in looking forward at, at future challenges with the perspective of turning those challenges into opportunities. Finally, I would like to say that I've really enjoyed the time I have spent with ARTPRA. I can, I, I am committed to spending more time with ARTBA, but this year as chairman has been wonderful. I have especially appreciated the professionalism and dedication that the staff at ARTBA, as well as all of the volunteer members throughout the chapters and the paid members in the chapters, in their dedication to not only our industry, but to the goals of transportation. And this is an association that is needed for not only the industry, but for its members. We have a broad-based association that, that enlists not only contractors and designers, but all of the material and equipment men, as well as the academics that become a part of this wonderful industry that we're in. So I would encourage everyone who is a member of ARTBA to continue to, to be an active member and to help them in our advocacy for sustainable transportation funding.